Hey guys, Micah, Outdoor Living Guy, talking to you today about dog-friendly outdoor living spaces. We're gonna talk about synthetic, we're gonna talk about other solutions for muddy outdoor spaces. Can't wait to show you all we have right now. something that I get a lot of requests about, and that is backyard spaces that are dog friendly. So we're in a backyard right now, this one's under construction. What we've done here is created a lot of hardscaping. So over here we have a nice destination with a covered space, fireplace, which is gonna be wonderful for uh, the human part of this. Hey, no laughing, but of course, for the rest of the space, when you have a big dog, we want to have a space where they can go to and not necessarily rip up the whole backyard and create a mud bath, especially in the winter time. So there's a lot of different ways that we could do that. The solution that the homeowner thought of here is mostly rock, river rock, uh, two to five inch river rock. It kind of looks like a dry creek bed. We've done that over on both sides, but also we had some gravel pathways that are compacted. So it's very tight fit and we had a little bit of um, pea gravel. The homeowner can walk out of the house. Obviously a hard surface here with the patio pavers, but then as you see the whole area, the pathway is done in quarter inch minus. That's compacted gravel, pea gravel right over to the side here, and then a kind of a decorative flower bed that is done in two to five inch river rock two to five inch river rock again hardscaping pavers no vegetation here so it's very nice for a homeowner with a lot of with a lot of big dogs okay guys so here's another option for dog friendly landscapes as you see behind me you have this major huge space for inviting not only a family to be able to have some nice lawn games here, but really for your family pet to be able to go do his business, uh, but also enjoy and have a good time. Now, if we were to have just lawn here, this was a mud zone. So in the winter time, they just could not keep this area dry and keep it mud free. So as their family pet would come out and use the space, it just would track mud in and it would just be a nightmare for the homeowner. So this fixes all of that. Now they don't have to worry, no matter what time of season it is, they, the family pet can come out, enjoy doing their business, enjoy the space, and be able to come in and be completely uh, clean and free of debris. So this particular lawn, it looks really natural too. I'm gonna to shoot some B-roll and let you see this from a moving perspective. But really this lawn looks real, it looks natural. It has a little bit of thatch in it. It has, uh, you know, different blades of grass at different heights. So it just doesn't look like it's uh, the old AstroTurf, if you can imagine what I'm saying. This looks like a real product and your family pet is gonna love it. Hey guys, so here's another perspective of the landscape that we shot here for a dog friendly landscape. We just sh showed you up top, which is great for a family pet to be able to kind of go do their business. But here we also put synthetic lawn and it's also dog friendly. So here's their side yard, their back door basically, so they can come right out. The family can enjoy this space with the fire pit, but I just wanna show you again that this is great family space that includes the family pet to be able to enjoy 
and not have to worry about maintaining and keeping the space free of mud and clutter that's going to end up on your the paws of your of your family pet and go and track inside the house so a great solution again i would strongly recommend synthetic lawn for your family uh, pet and for a dog friendly space So you can't really talk about a pet friendly or a dog friendly landscape without talking about dog runs. Now a dog run is what it is. Usually it's on the side of the house, kind of away from the main living space, but it can really get kind of grand after that. You can do a lot of different flooring types for your dog run. You could even do synthetic lawn. You can do cedar chips. Some clients have used gravel, uh, depending on the sensitivity uh, for your family pet. Think about those. Uh, there's a lot of different options. Some people even just concrete the whole side and do some dog houses on the side and kind of create a really nice dog run in that way. But something else I want to make sure I include in this video, it's an important aspect to think about. And of course, it's just natural lawn. Now, there's something about the natural lawn or sod or just grass, I guess you would call it, is we want to make sure, especially in the Northwest, we know we have people watching this from all over the nation and all over the world, really, but in the Northwest, it rains like crazy. So what we want to do is maximize the drainage of the lawn if we're going to have natural lawn. It's really important. I want to show you some videos here that, or a job site, I should say, that we have made sure to give everybody their own location. So family can play, the, the kids can play in the lawn, we did some maxim we maximized the drainage here by putting in this dry creek bed. Now, so what we're doing with this is there's a French drain underneath and we've just taken all of that water. We've moved it to where we want to move it. And now they have two or three different locations of very nice, soft, dry lawn for the family pet and for the family to enjoy. So as we're considering lawns for our pet friendly landscapes, I would recommend RTF. Now RTF stands for Rhizomius Tall Fescue. It's a, it's a type of lawn seed that is self-repairing. So we all know with our, our family pets, if they uh, used the, the lawn for natural purposes, uh, you could develop some spots in the lawn. The Rhizomius Tall Fescue, it will get in there and it'll repair those just naturally. You don't have to overseed those spots. It just takes care of itself. So I have a link uh, to another video I've shot on the Rhizomia tall fescue below, but consider that for a nice lawn, nice pet friendly lawn. So hey guys, I want to talk with you a little bit about synthetic lawn when you're installing it. You want to be cautious of the way you install it. There is a nice side, and I was showing you that on the upper area. Right now I'm showing you the side away from the house. So it, it basically looks a little flat. So when you're installing it, make sure that you are installing it from the perspective of the house towards your eye as you're looking out, that the grains, those blades of grass are going to be seen this way and not the shiny side as you're seeing from the camera's perspective. We appreciate all the subscribers that we've been getting recently and we hope that you will subscribe right now and keep watching. Talk to you soon.